parked down at Seathwaite Farm. So I got here nice and early. We're going to do three fells today. The first one I've never done before, base brown. And they're the other two I'm going to do today. And that is Green Gable and the big one of the day, the last one of the day, Great Gable. Just under 3,000 feet. So just where the tractor's coming down, I'm just parked down the road there. I've walked across the farmer's field across the little bridge and we're going to follow this waterfall so quite a way the first thing you need to do is get over there really looking forward to this walk uh, especially the last summer of the day great gable because in my opinion it's the best 360 view in the whole of the lake district and by looks of the weather today we're going to have a perfect day to admire that view so a stony path up, uh, a steep path up, but one that's very easy to follow. So really nice view back down over the valley in the farm. Oh, how lovely is that? And look at that sun there just popping over the fell tops. Makes that two hour drive over here all the more worthwhile. You can feel that temperature rising and I say it's going to be a hot one today. I remember this a little bit from last time. Getting up here. We're gonna get up and around there. Well it's not even half past seven yet and already the jacket's off. But I'm carrying three litres of water. I can see us using all that as well. So a nice little spot down here. Very shaded, very cool. So that's where we'll come up from. And this is another place I remember that we need to get up. And I think we're heading over that way, but I think uh, we want to climb up that way. I think. Anyway, let's give it a go. Oh, damn me. I think this is the right way. Either way, that's where I'm heading. Well, that was fun getting up there. I'm still going to go up here, yes. which is hopefully the right path. <laughs> oh, so that was the right route anyway. So that's a bit of good news. And the even better news is it doesn't look too far. Might regret saying this, but it doesn't look too far till I get on the ridge. And then once we're up there, we'll start doing the proper climb up to the first one of the day, base brown. So that's the way we came up. So there is the source of the waterfall. So when you're coming up here, you'll be walking with this on your right hand side. Well, the sun has gone behind that cloud up there. You can feel the temperature drop actually. The Borrowdale Valley is the wettest place in the UK. I have got a waterproof with us, but uh, hopefully won't be needing that. So not much longer, I'll be looking for the path to get us to the top of the base brown. Oh, well, climbed up out of the valley. Uh, the sun's still behind that cloud. Nice and cool. That's where we're heading next. Uh, yeah, a steep pull up there. I think it's about six, four, six meters. And you may ask, well, if you came up this way before, if you did Green Gable and Grey Gable, why didn't you miss that out? Basically, I was just too tired. The next one's over 800 meters, and that's Green Gable. But anyway, let's get that one done first. Now there is some path up here, but where? I couldn't see it at all. And uh, there's an alternative way, which is walk through the valley, which is the way I went before, and then you can tackle it from the back. Uh, but then you've got to go back on yourself, which I didn't particularly want to do, but it looks like I'm going to have to do it that way. I mentioned in last week's video that we're going to Mallorca this week, and uh, it's Monday today, and we're off on Thursday morning. So, I've got quite a busy week, and I could have done without coming over here today, 
but the day after I come back I'm due into hospital for an operation on the top of my leg I've been in and out the same day but being told uh, no strenuous hikes for four weeks afterwards in case I burst open the stitches I needed to get a video uh, up and scheduled for next Sunday and then we'll just take it from there Whew, blown a bit today you know sometimes you get a day where all of a sudden your second wind kicks in and you think oh great uh, I'm waiting for my first wind to kick in yet so hopefully it won't be too long and just like I thought this path has led us all the way through the valley all the way up here and we're going up there and that's where we're heading there next this way through the valley it's been a slowly going up quite gentle good path to follow and it looks like an easy way to the summit so for the first time summit of base brown uh, six four six meters i think it's 21 20 feet so we've got a great climb to do yet and looking all the way over there to the scarfell massive i don't know why i keep doing that i don't care every time i do it i lose about 10 subscribers so i shouldn't have done that there now especially as i may regret saying this but i'm 10 subscribers away from 3,000. and uh, oh god already i can hear people looking for the unsubscribe button i still remember the day when i got my first subscriber thought i had a stalker so i would like to say a big thank you to everybody that has subscribed all the people that like all the people that leave a comment all the people that actually watch the video all the way through it is very much appreciated something i just don't take for granted i do appreciate it so i want to say a big thank you very much anyway on to the next one green gable well as always an extended break uh, i always say i'm not going to do it but uh, i always end up doing it but uh thing is we've got scenery like this you've got the whole place to yourself again i haven't seen one person all day uh so you think why not i've drank about a uh, half a liter of fluid i've had a couple of chocolate bars give yourself a bit more energy uh nobody about so i've used the facilities so i'm all ready that's the way i came up from the valley that's the way i went up to base brown the summit just behind there and behind us is the way we're going up to green gable and uh yeah after a couple of chocolate bars and a bit of fluid i'm feeling uh well i don't like to preempt things but i feel as though my first wind is just about to start haven't said that it might be the two chocolate bars i don't know hopefully it's a burst of energy because that's where we're heading the clouds starting to form sun's starting to hide that's where we drop down from and that's where we came from this morning making steady progress hopefully it won't be too long to the next summit bit of a rest and then head down and all the way up to great gable which is the big one of the day well just when you're blown a bit and you're feeling a bit tired what you need is an energy burst and i'll tell you something when you bump into mark from worcester and you found out that he watches the videos but it doesn't have to give you an energy burst so mark it's been great Cheers to on. meet you and uh it has given us an energy burst as well because i was just blown a bit there so hopefully you have a great rest of the day yeah you too mate and what a canny lad he was as well so hopefully he has a good and safe day so for the third time green gable just behind us and then uh, the monster that is a great gable which is going to be the last one of the day having said that i'm going to have a good break here because this view oh dear me i didn't show it to you look at that absolutely amazing well the breeze is starting to get up maybe it's a good time i can't put that off any longer but looking down over to kirk fell there where i was with ashley arnold and his wife last year and pillar we're the same two people and eddie kersley and looking down into the ennerdale valley 
we parked right down near the side. We walked five miles before we even started the climb pillar. And then we did another four summits after that. But look at that. Down in the Buttermere. And over to the Coldale Horseshoe. Grass mower. So sort of dropping down from uh, Green Gable there now. And if you do get caught up here in a bit of a uh, bad weather, you've got a bit of shelter down there. Anyway, the big one, the beast is behind us. Uh, and from here, you think, well, that doesn't look too bad. But we've got a big drop down to Windy Gap and then climbing all the way up there. And as I remember from this side, the pole and the camera might have to go away because I remember using hands and feet to get up there. Either way, that's where we're heading. Well, you can see Sprinkle and Tan in the background and where we'll be dropping down from Great Gable down to like Sty Head Tan down there. Before we do that, we're going to drop down this very shady path down here and then climb up there. Anyway, the wind seems to have dropped for the moment, but uh, I guarantee when we get down there, uh, the wind will hit us because we've got the wind from two valleys there uh, being funneled through and it's always very windy there hence why it's called Windy Gap or as the Roman legionaries used to call it Windus Gapos you believe that you believe anything so after dropping down from there we are now climbing all the way up there when we do eventually get to the top which is not that there it's behind there that's the way we'll be going down. Down to the town. Oh, what a view. Right, here we go. So the first little bit up is very uh, shaly, loose rock. But then it gets to hands and feet and just picking your way up through there. Whew. So this place have a rest. Nobody else at the moment following us. So thankfully I can take my time. Because you need to come up here. So you could pick one route up and it's not too bad you could pick another route up and it could be a bit sketchy so it's just a look of the draw but we've got a way to go yet well if you like a climb if you like a scramble yeah definitely do it this way because you get plenty of both of them anyway Let's plow on. Well, why have a breather here? Maybe, maybe it's a very good time to answer a question. It's from uh, my very good friend Mark, who asked the question, what type of boots do I wear? Uh, and how often I change them? Well, because I may be out for a few weeks, I'm going to do a review on the boots I am wearing that are my new favorite boot I've been using them for over a year there now and really happy with them and uh, so look out for that in the the very very near future and this is exactly why you need good boots picking your way through here I don't know if you can see the little uh, marker cans guiding us up so somewhere up there will be the summit Hallelujah. After that, it's downhill all the way. Not a breath of wind. Full sun. And uh, it did say 25 degrees. So all, all that breeze. Oh, yes. Keep going, keep going. Hopefully, it's not too far to go up to the top. As you can see down there, top of Green Gable. And behind that, base brown so nearly at the top there now 
and uh, good break up there unusual for me I know but uh, yeah good break up there uh, get a lot of fluid into us and then it's the long drop down back down the farm and the beast so far an absolute belter of a day I mean how nice is that we haven't even got to the summit yet fantastic so summit just up there and you can see the way down oh that wind oh. so for the third time top of Great Gable 899 meters just under 3,000 feet and it feels good to be back up here again worth all the hard work I'm gonna have a good break here oh views over the Irish Sea over the border into Scotland no matter which way you look absolutely fantastic in my opinion the best summit in the whole of the Lake District back down there now and uh, as I remember very surely uh, descent which uh, so I'm gonna get me other pole out so I'm making very slow progress coming down here I met a guy he was going up as I was coming down he's been up to the top of the summit and then turned round come back and overtook us this video will go up as normal next Sunday at two o'clock but when it does go up I'll be away in Mallorca and I'll be totally off grid so I'll have to wait till I come back before I can answer any comments and it's always nice to get down to here it's the third time I've come down that way and uh, it seems to take us longer and longer each time but either way we are down there Stay head turn there and we were following that all the way back down to the farm so a really good walk really good loop really good day fantastic weather uh, if you stuck it this far brilliant thanks very much really appreciate it well, I was just thinking to myself how lovely walking past the tarn looking back there and then you turn around just what I didn't want either way this is the way back so this is the way I'm going Whew, flagging a bit now I must admit uh, only on just under six miles so not that far having said that when you consider we had to get up there this morning and that was the smallest of the three and in this heat it's been a tough day having said that if you've enjoyed it big thumbs up very much appreciated tell you something won't be too long before i'm back out again cheers <laughs>